Good evening and a warm welcome to every one of you to this evening's prayer. I want to dwell today on that the will of God are all the promises in the Bible. The will of God is all the promises in the Bible. This is a ninth day and the reason why we have spent so many days emphasizing the will of God. We began in 1 John 5, 14. This is a confidence that we have in Christ. If we ask anything, anything according to His will, He heareth us. And if we know He heareth us, we know we have the petitions that we've desired of Him. If we know He heareth us whatever we ask, we know we have the petitions that we've desired of Him. And so it's so important to know the will of God so you've got confidence and faith to receive the will of God being manifested in our lives because you do that by faith. And God, because it's His will, He, he desires that manifestation of His will in your life much more than you desire. And so it's so important. All the promises in the Bible are God's will. There's over 3,000 promises in the Bible. And all those promises are God's will. In 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18 and verse 19, 20, but as God is true, our word towards you was not yea and nay. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was preached among you by us, even by me and Silvanus and Timotheus, was not yea and nay, but in him was yea. So, Jesus that we preach is not no and yes is always yes. Why? Verse 20, For all the promises of God in Him, in Christ, are yes, and in Him, amen, unto the glory of God by us. So all the promises of God, from God's side, is yes. So God's not holding back on any promise. But the Amen must come from our spirit. So when we read the promises of God, or somebody ministers the promises of God, we know that is the will of God. Then we know God said yes because it's His will. But then our spirits must say the Amen from within us. And that's unto the glory of God. I'm going to read a few different translations so you can understand what that means in NIV, 2 Corinthians 1.20 For no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. See, it's got to be in Christ. And so through Him, the Amen, through Christ, the Amen is spoken unto us to the glory of God. So God's promises are given to us and they're in Christ and it's yes. If you're in Christ, His promises are yes. But then the Amen is spoken unto us unto the glory of God. We must thank God for all the individual promises that we want to be manifested in our lives. So when you read the promises or someone speaks the promises or someone preaches the promises, you must say, Amen, it means so be it, I agree. I receive those promises. And so it's fine for you to say, I receive. And then you start thanking God for His promises. 
that he gave to you. And then the Holy Spirit will begin to work with those promises to bring them to pass in your life. 2 Peter 1.4 it says, Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these you may be partakers of his divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. The promises of God are exceeding great and precious. You see, when you say Amen and you receive them, then you partake of God's very nature. And when you partake of God's nature, you actually escape the corruption that is working in the world through lust. And so I want to encourage you all in your prayer, always have a promise of God. Thank God for His promises. Thank God that in Christ, God says yes to you. And you saying amen to it. And when you do that, you are giving God glory. So God richly bless you. Allow me to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that in the Holy Word of God, there are over 3,000 promises that you've given to us. And we are so grateful today that in Christ, all, all, all your promises are yes in Christ. And we say the Amen to the glory of God. So we thank you that your promises are your will, that Jesus Christ died and rose again, that all the promises are yes in Christ Jesus. We love you and we honor you. I bless your people, Lord Jesus, that they will study the word of God and for every need, every desire that everyone has, they will find the promises of God in the Bible and they'll pray those promises back to you. And I thank you that you'll stand by your word to perform it. And every promise that your people pray to you will be manifested and that prayer will be answered because we know we have the petitions that we have desired of you. And we pray this in confidence with thanksgiving. We give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God richly bless you. You continue to pray. And I'll meet you tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Bye-bye.